Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we've got an intense story that unfolds on the gritty streets of Bradford. Our focus is on a man known as Fuji, or Faiz Rahman. It all began when Fuji, initially a low-level dealer, found himself entangled in a web of crime alongside his older brother, Wahed Rahman. Back in 2010, the brothers fussed serious charges, including possession of a Mac-10, submachine gun, a sawn-off shotgun, and ammunition. Wahed, with prior convictions for drug-related offences, had his house on Harrogate Road raided by officers on January 10, 2008. They discovered a stash worth more than £5,000, concealed behind the bath panel. Surprisingly, when officers executed the search warrant, the house was unfurnished, with a noticeable build-up of mail. Fuji's fingerprints on a bag containing gun cartridges became a crucial piece of evidence. Both brothers vehemently denied any knowledge of the drugs and weapons stash, with Fuji claiming he only visited the property once to help clean up before a tenant moved in. In the end, the legal hammer fell hard on both Fuji and Wahid, as they were handed down five-year jail sentences each for their involvement in this offence. But the plot thickens as we explore his ties to the notorious Rafik Khan, also known as Raf, the kingpin of the Feather Row crew in Bradford's BD3 area. Raf, serving his first sentence in 2013 at just 21, was part of a gang that orchestrated a sophisticated conspiracy leading to 24 years of combined imprisonment for the group. Their operation involved a staggering 26,000 transactions, averaging 200 deals a day, with a lucrative profit margin. Fast forward to 2021, and Raf finds himself behind bars again. This time, he was caught buying and selling drugs from his mini-market on Mavis Street, Barker End, Bradford. During a police raid, a kilo block of cocaine, valued at £40,000, was seized from his home and Ford Ranger vehicle. Raf Khan's legal troubles escalated when he pleaded guilty to participating in the activities of an organised crime group, trafficking Class A drugs between February 7 and March 3, 2022. He also admitted possessing a kilo of cocaine with intent to supply it in September 2022 and possession of cash as criminal property. Police surveillance, including CCTV footage, played a pivotal role in his conviction. The recordings captured Raff exchanging cash with the driver of a white BMW, handling suspected Class A drugs and retrieving a package from the shop. Raff was ordered to pay back £81,000 under the Proceeds of Crime Act. In the end, Raff Khan was sentenced to eight years behind bars. On another pivotal figure in Fuji's world, Nadim Rashid, or Nad, as he's known on the streets, hailing from Heckmanwak. Nad's story takes a dark turn as he currently serves a hefty nine-year sentence. His downfall came when police stopped his vehicle and discovered a staggering two kilos of Class A drugs. A subsequent search of his residence unveiled even more cocaine, sealing his fate behind bars. Adding another layer to Nad's connection web, he had close ties with UK rappers Rimsey and Snap Capone further intertwining the music scene with the underbelly of the streets. The legal hammer struck Nad in 2022, marking the end of his freedom and sending shockwaves through the network of associations in Fuji's world. Fuji was also linked to Muhammad Saqif Khan, a key figure in a gruesome event that shook Bradford. Back in 2015, Saqif Khan and his accomplice Shabazz Ahmed faced a nine-year sentence for a horrifying revenge axe attack at a Sainsbury's petrol station in Greengates. Their pursuit of Barrington Depas, armed with axes, unfolded in a silver Audi and a Shogun. Both vehicles meticulously chosen for their sinister mission. The assailants tracked Barrington Depas, who, sensing trouble, directed his girlfriend to drive onto the busy Sainsbury's forecourt. What followed was a vicious and violent assault inside the garage kiosk, where Barrington Depas sought refuge in the presence of horrified cashiers and bystanders. The silver Audi and Shogun, symbolic of retribution, were part of a sinister plot hatched in response to an earlier shooting at the Khan family home. Both Saqif Khan and Shabazz Ahmed, unmasked and identified by the victim, were sentenced to a total of nine years, 
marking the conclusion of a grim chapter in Bradford's history. In 2016, Mohammed Saqif Khan and Shabazz Ahmed faced yet another legal ordeal. This time, they were handed four-year jail sentences, each for their involvement in a conspiracy to supply £200,000 worth of cocaine. We delve into the life and untimely demise of Amriz Iqbal, widely known as Major on the Unforgiving Streets. Major, a towering figure in both stature and influence, held formidable control over the BD3 area of Bradford. His notoriety extended beyond the drug game. Major was a feared and respected individual, leaving an indelible mark on the city. Major's influence reached such heights that Fuji and Raf operated as his trusted workers, highlighting the extent of his power. He was more than a player. He was the main man in this dangerous game. However, Major's notoriety was not solely confined to the criminal world. His presence, both feared and revered, went beyond the shadows. Known for never backing down from a fight, Major instilled a sense of intimidation that echoed through the streets. He was a force to be reckoned with, and his reputation for standing his ground in the face of adversity was both legendary and infamous. Tragically, in 2018, Major's reign came to a brutal end when Bradford's kingpin, Meggie Khan, orchestrated his murder. The motive behind this shocking act was rooted in a dispute over a substantial quantity of Class A drugs, marking the end of an era in Bradford's criminal landscape. In the aftermath of Amriz Iqbal's, aka Major's, tragic demise, a seismic shift occurred in Bradford's criminal landscape. This marked the rise of Fuji, who seized the opportunity to ascend in the drug hierarchy, taking control of Major's lucrative drug operation. Fuji's ascent was swift and impactful, solidifying his name as a rising force in the perilous world of illicit substances. As he manoeuvred through the ranks, Fuji left an indelible mark, not just as Major's successor, but as a shrewd and ambitious player. With newfound control came substantial financial gains. Fuji's coffers swelled as he navigated the intricacies of the drug trade, accumulating wealth that reflected his newfound prominence. A testament to his success and opulent lifestyle, Fuji made a statement with the purchase of a £250,000 Richard Mill watch, a symbol of status and affluence. In a dramatic turn of events in 2021, tensions reached a boiling point in Bradford's criminal underworld. Nad, a close associate of Fuji, stirred the pot by releasing a video disrespecting none other than Meggie Khan, who was serving a life sentence for the murder of Major. The video found its way behind the prison walls of HMP Whitemore, where Meggie Khan, behind the door, got wind of the disrespectful content. Infuriated, Meggie wasted no time and made a call to his cousin to settle the score. The ensuing video captured a brutal retaliation, as Meggie Khan's cousins paid an unwelcome visit to Nard. In a shocking twist, Fuji, known for his fearless reputation, stood by as his close associate faced the consequences. Fuji was a charity worker who lived a secret life as a drug kingpin who met on crochet contacts while on holiday in Dubai. Faiz Rehman bought and sold drugs including cocaine, heroin and cannabis over an 11-week period between March and June 2020. Despite a short time frame, he managed to facilitate the sale of drugs worth £4.2 million. Fuji had arranged with a supplier from Liverpool to buy stock, which included Class A drugs, and conversed with suppliers and customers using EncroChat, the encrypted telephone and messaging system classified by the NCA as a criminally dedicated platform designed for and used by criminals. Fuji Raymond communicated with included Stocky Giant, who was a supplier from Liverpool, and a customer called Hippocrown. On April 20th, 2022, Fuji sold one kilo of cocaine to another Encrochat user. On 21st April 2020, he made Stocky Giant aware Ramadan started soon, and he needed a lot and needed 50 kilograms on each delivery. In another conversation with Stocky Giant, Fuji of Hereford Drive in Bradford, ordered cannabis, cocaine and heroin before he told him cannabis had been stolen from a warehouse. Fuji then went on to order 5 kilograms of cocaine and 1 kilogram of heroin. 
On 24th April 2020, Stocky Giant agreed he would deliver the cocaine and heroin separately and an address in Bradford was provided. A courier arrived that afternoon. Three vehicles were involved. Messages showed. Fuji offered to sell cocaine to Hippocrown and arranged to meet another Uncrosha user due to high demand near a corner shop that evening. Another delivery of cocaine was made from Stocky Giant on April 25, 2020 and later that day Fuji asked for another 5 kilograms as he said he had sold 2 kilograms that day and 28 kilograms that week. Mr. Story said later analysis showed messages between Fuji and other users where he made reference to Rolex watches and wanting a car for his wife which he would exchange for cannabis. The Encrochat system was compromised by the Dutch and French authorities on June 13, 2020, just days after Fuji had made it clear he didn't want to travel for drugs as he didn't want to risk being caught on AMPR cameras. Fuji told another user he wanted to buy as much as he could before leaving his role in the drug dealing operation before July 2020. In other messages, Fuji bragged about being able to sell 40 kilograms to 50 kilograms of heroin a month. And in June 2020, he made reference to cannabis and cocaine being his main area of business. Fuji communicated with another Encrochat user, Lynx Basil, who he had met in Dubai. It was on 11th May 2020 when he and Lynx Basil discussed the availability of handguns and they discussed respective KG packages. They showed pictures of blocks of drugs with various logos and pictures of cash ready to exchange for drugs. The NCA noticed Fuji, who appeared in court from HMP Leeds, travelling to Liverpool and visiting a safety deposit box in Leeds Road between March and June 2020. Raymond supplied 55 kilograms of cocaine, 5 kilograms per week, with a wholesale price of £39,000 per kilogram. 50 kilograms of heroin and 295 kilograms of cannabis. He said the total value of the drugs was 4.2 million pounds. On February 11th, 2022, after police stopped a black Mercedes car in which he was the passenger, a search of his home revealed just under 2,000 pounds in cash, several high value Rolex watches and weighing scales which showed traces of cocaine and heroin. During his interview, he produced a statement denying the offenses and answered no comment to all questions. Fuji pleaded guilty to two counts of conspiring with others to supply Class A drugs and one count of conspiring with others to supply Class B drugs after a plea. He was sentenced to 15 years in February 2022. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more engaging stories.